no, Idris Elba, you cannot be James Bond. You will not be 007, no matter how many tweets you put out saying I'm Elba, Idris Elba. It's not because you're a gentleman of colour, it's because James Bond isn't. He's written as an upper class, arrogant white toff, born with a silver spoon in his mouth, nurtured by Eton and Sandhurst and well connected by his Swiss family fortune. Bond is a nod to a time before when women kept house and men did things of daring do, when chivalry was still a thing. As M says to Pierce Brosnan in the role, I think you're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur, a relic of the Cold War era, and that's the glory of the thing. A throwback to times gone by when men were men and women were big boobed and beautiful, integral to his failure or success. And it's not about talent, Idris. Many people love you almost more than you do yourself. We applaud you in Luther. And if a creative liberal wants to write an entire spy series around you, that's fantastic. But please, can someone on your team come up with their own ideas or their own material? Must we perpetually crowbar in gender and colour where it doesn't fit? And how come it doesn't work the other way? If I was to play Winnie Mandela, how would that go down? She's a cow. I'm seen as a cow. What's the issue? And if they cast a white shaft, how would that go? He was fictional too. Not only would it be incendiary, it would be a nonsense. And don't even get me started on the woman thing. Popping up where they've no place to be, Jane Bond would be even more of a disaster than the female Ghostbusters. And that bunch of girls set the failure bar pretty high. Our imagination is a precious thing. The way we love these characters matters, as evidenced by the outrage when someone attempts to mess with the things we love. So you see, Idris, it's not about your colour or you. It's about Bond, James Bond. 